Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and I have something rather exciting. It's a dog fight between the LG G3 and the OnePlus One. But before I get into the dog fight, I wanted to briefly mention Hulu Plus. Now you've more than likely heard of or used Hulu on your PC or Mac, but Hulu Plus is so much more. Hulu Plus has current episodes of your favorite TV shows. Shows like Family Guy, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, or if you like getting your saute on, you can watch current episodes of MasterChef. So what's not to love? You can stream it on virtually any device, including your iPhone, your tablet, your computer, your Apple TV, your Roku, your Xbox, and it only costs $7.99 a month. Now I am offering you the chance to get a two week trial free. How cool is that? Just go to Hulu Plus forward slash phone dog, get your two week trial and see what you think. Now let's get on with this dog fight. Looking at the design first of all, the LG G3 is 7mm shorter and over 1mm narrower, but it is exactly the same thickness as the OnePlus One. But it's also 13 grams lighter, that's about half an ounce. The curved back fits really comfortably in hand, but the texture is vastly different. Close up, the textured finish on the OnePlus One does look a little bit cheap, but when you've got it in hand, it feels fantastic. It has a really nice soft touch property. The LG G3, on the other hand, is a tiny bit slippery, but the fake gunmetal brushed metal effect does look really, really good. Both have ergonomically placed buttons. The LG G3 has opted to put theirs on the back of the phone, right in the center, which is easy to reach with your index finger on both hands. OnePlus One has its button on either side, the power button on the right and the volume rocker on the left. One of the nice design finishes I really like is the OnePlus One logo and the camera on the back. They just make it look a bit more premium than it is, giving this sort of this illusion of premium. Both are coated with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 to make sure that you have a great, at least scratch resistant display. The LG G3 is more solid overall, it's got a better build quality, and as an overall package the G3 is better thought through and better made. It's a close second for the OnePlus One in the design front, but the G3 wins this round. Then we got onto the display panels. Both of them are LCD and both of them are five and a half inches, but that is where the similarities end. The OnePlus One has a 1080p panel, whereas the LG G3 has Quad HD. That's a 401 pixels per inch versus 534 pixels per inch. And while the resolution difference might seem massive on paper, actually using it in real day-to-day -day use, there isn't a huge amount of difference. Where you will notice it on the LG G3 is where LG has created its own custom user interface with super fine text and outlines. Now sometimes this text tends to look a little bit too sharp, almost like when you over sharpen a photograph and it starts to get a little bit jaggedy. But it's not always that way, in general use it's quite good. When you compare the two in terms of colour accuracy, they are very very different. The LG G3 tends to have much darker colours, but at the same time what it does do well is that it differentiates between lighter colours better. You can see them clearer on the screen. But the whites have a slightly pinkish sort of tint compared to the OnePlus One. The OnePlus has a much better accuracy in terms of whiteness, but it does lack in contrast. And the colours aren't that vivid either. And that kind of gives it a sort of almost a washed out feel. Now it's not terrible, certainly not the worst display on the market, but compared to the G3 it does look a little bit faded, but then again, the difference isn't massive. Both of them have their pluses and minuses, but for media, photos and gaming, the LG G3 is a clear winner here. And then we get on to the performance. Now the model of LG G3 that I have has 2GB of RAM. Whereas the OnePlus One that I have is a 3GB model. Both have got exactly the same quad-core 2.5GHz Snapdragon 801 series processor. Both of them have 802.11ac wireless and Category 4 LTE. So performance should be pretty much the same. But it isn't. When I had the LG G3 to begin with in its early days, it did lag quite noticeably. The way it managed its memory and its launcher wasn't very efficient, so whenever you launched an app for an extended period, as soon as you went back to your home screen there was a noticeable delay in loading wallpapers and widgets and app icons. It's become a lot better since then, but when you compare it to the much more stripped down user interface of the OnePlus One and the performance that that offers, 
there really isn't much of a competition here. The OnePlus One is buttery smooth. It's quick, it's fluid, it's fast. Switching between apps doesn't really take any time at all. So on the performance side, I have to give this one to the OnePlus One. And then we get on to sound quality, and it's basically a tale of two speakers versus one speaker. And the LG G3's one speaker is actually very good for a single speaker. But because it's on the back, it's easily muffled and it's easy to cover up. But when it's not covered and you're facing it towards you, the sound is very loud. It's generally quite balanced considering it's a small speaker. The OnePlus One speakers are louder. Obviously, there are two of them. And you'll notice this when you're gaming or watching videos or when your notifications come through. Now, the LG does have Dolby Booster type technology stuff going on, which should make a difference. And it does when you plug in a set of headphones. But then again, the difference isn't that noticeable. On this round, because of the loudspeaker performance, I'll give this one to the OnePlus One, but only just. One of the most important features of a modern smartphone, of course, is the camera, and both of them, again, have similar specs. They're both 13 megapixel shooters, and both of them capable of recording 4K video. But the difference in quality is very noticeable. The OnePlus One often gives you blurry and fuzzy images. And that's even when things are in focus, it does generate a bit more noise, especially when the light starts to drop a little. The LG G3 is sharper, takes better photos with better colours, and the video performance seems good as well because it seems to switch between focus modes quickly and it does adapt to the exposure levels a lot easier than the OnePlus One seems to do. The LG G3 has its own laser-focused guided autofocus technology which should make focusing really really quick and in most cases it does really well and one area that I really like the LG G3 particularly when you're in good light is the macro shots it's capable of producing some really really sharp images it's not quite as good as some of the other big camera phones on the market like the Lumia 930 or the Xperia Z2 but compared to the OnePlus One it is a very good camera now let's get on to battery life. The OnePlus One has a 3,100 milliamp hour battery. The LG G3 has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. So both of them have got good capacity. But because of the LG G3's higher resolution display, you'll get less on-screen time with the LG device. Now I'm a very light user and I got both phones to last about two days on a full charge. But if we're counting on screen time, the LG G3 is much worse than the OnePlus One. And it's quite inconsistent in performance too. Sometimes you will get only three and a half to four hours of on screen time on the LG G3. Other times you might get up to four and a half. But the OnePlus One does much better. There's a similar capacity, but it doesn't have to power such a big pixel dense display. So in the battery life category, the OnePlus One is the clear winner. So overall, each phone wins three categories, meaning that technically it's sort of a draw. As an overall package, the LG G3 is perhaps the better phone on paper. It's better made, it performs well, it's got a great display, decent audio. So the LG G3 may be a better phone, but it costs twice as much, so you would expect that. And it's not twice as good a phone. So while the OnePlus One might not be a flagship killer, it certainly makes it really hard to justify spending the money to get one when you can get a device that's virtually as good as a flagship for less than $300. At least it would be difficult to justify if you could just walk into a store and buy one or order one online. The fact that you can't really buy them easily is the OnePlus One's biggest weakness. I've been Cam, I'm at PhoneDog underscore Cam on Twitter. If you've got any questions about either of these devices, please feel free to ask and you can use the comments down below as always. I will see you again soon.